If you have been keeping up with the channel recently, you are probably aware of the dramatic news surrounding Ziva VFX, the leading 3D muscle simulation software, who after an unfortunate series of events involving Unity, this price tool is now exclusively in the hands of DNAC, a highly esteemed VFX studio with many years of experience in the field. This means that nobody can actually use it other than those who already have a license and they can only extend it for a couple of years or so, which has left many 3D artists and studios in frustration. But the question now is, what are the potential alternatives? Well, this is what we're gonna talk about in this video. But before we start, let's take a moment and agree on a few things. Today we are looking through simulation alternatives of Ziva VFX, but what does that mean? In principle, this type of software will grab a regular 3D character animation, you know, the ones with an armature and all of its movement. Then based on that, the program will simulate soft tissue materials such as muscles, fat, skin, and the whole nine yards, in a way that is similar to how it would behave and move in the real world, with all the small weights and subtleties. But here is the catch. Beforehand, you are expected to model or sculpt the different layers, and then you simulate them on top of each other, layer by layer, just like bricks, brick by brick, to make it as real and as legit as possible. It does this with what we call solvers, and a solver takes a mathematical problem and calculates a solution. So the problem here is simulating the soft tissue realistically, and then it tries to calculate a solution by finding a way to make it look realistic. And with that out of the way, let's see what alternatives we have. We're gonna start with Side Effects Houdini, a name that speaks for itself. In today's era, Houdini has nothing to prove in the CG industry because it has already made a name for itself in feature film, advertisement, video games, and everything else. However, when it comes to today's topic, it is probably not better than Ziva, but it is making a lot of progress. Not many realize it, but the software actually includes a muscle and tissue system. However, to be fair, it only gained momentum around the 20.0 version, and it is still under development. But what is the deal with it anyways? Well, like I was saying, soft tissue simulation allows you to bring 3D characters to life, with all their layers such as bones, muscles, and the whole deal, to produce realistic animations. And to take on the challenge, Houdini stayed loyal to its node-based nature, where you can connect the bones to each other within the typical Houdini workspace. And then based on these bone relations, you can start building the muscle and tissue systems. As an example, we have elements such as the muscle stretch feature. This tool lets you draw on the character's muscle directly and then the muscle will stretch along the path you drew. If this is still confusing, let's imagine a case where you draw over the endings of a muscle and then the middle will stretch while the ends stay in place, among many other features. But it goes without saying that this system has many more qualities. To start, of course it is Houdini, so all the simulations are interactive, and we can adjust any part of it at any moment we desire. Besides, all of the different layers can be simulated, with the natural looking muscle sliding and wrinkling, as well as a muscle tensioning system, and automatic computation of natural fiber direction. Now going to another 3D software, we have the X muscle system in Blender which is everyone's favorite free and open source 3D program. It comes in the form of an add-on that was developed in the span of several years now by the hands of Carab44, a professional programmer and CG enthusiast, and it still shows no signs of slowing down, especially after the release of Blender version 4.0. But it's gonna be different for this one, because this is an add-on that was also designed for the creation of the muscular system tissue and other organic objects, and as you might expect, it generates the long anticipated physical simulation that we can also adjust. Basically, we start our workflow by creating a bunch of bones, then if we look at the side menu of the add-on, you can pick from a basic muscle, a stylized muscle, or a stripped muscle, and it will add a muscle base on that. This not only makes it an unusual software within its category, but also makes it great, because instead of spending the time making the muscles yourself, it does it for you. And to complete the picture, 
the add-on comes packed with a series of features to achieve the expected realistic muscle structures, such as the muscles growing and stretching during animations, as well as the ability to edit any tissue with the weight painting, and the ability to automatically attach the muscles to the bones, in addition to a flexor and extensor type of muscles, also an advanced micro skin controllers, among many other things. Now, is it good as Ziva VFX? Obviously not, but I think it still can do the job just fine. And to be honest, this is a savior for Blender users because it's gonna be right within the software. The next software that I believe can be an alternative software is called Adonis, a new aspiring company in the arena of software development that was founded in 2020 at the hands of Marco Romeo, a seasoned digital artist and with over 17 years of experience in the field of computer graphics and software engineering. But how did that play out, you might ask? Well, with his team, he created Adonis, which is a high-quality simulation solution for creating digital creatures, be it anything from humans, animals, and everything else in between, by providing solvers for muscles, fascia, skin, or even the face. And you can either use them in isolation or as a combination to create more complex behaviors. By the way, it is also an easy system to set up. All you need to do is choose the 3D object with an animation and then select the muscles or whatever you are trying to simulate and it works just like magic by hitting the simulation button. Besides, we can also adjust, for example, the number of wrinkles. However, this is only one of many examples because the design philosophy of the software are based on two timeless fundamentals of speed and efficiency, which you can see throughout the entirety of the software. And by the way, this was made possible with the assistance of the latest simulation and machine learning methods. So the use of AI managed to supercharge the performance of their solvers and made it able to create the simulation results in a matter of seconds. But it would depend on your hardware too, of course. Actually, back in the day, Adonis used to be a plugin for Maya, but now it is also available as an alpha version of Houdini. And if you were by any chance a Ziva user in Maya, then Adonis could be a match made in heaven for you. But the scary thing is, in a twist of fate, the company that developed Adonis has already crossed paths with DNAC, the company that acquired exclusive rights to use Ziva. And while the extent of their collaboration hasn't been documented to my knowledge, Theo Facey, the global head of Creature at DNAG, has stated that Imbido gave their teams confidence and trust, which led them to implement an action plan to remove technology debt, launch new technology projects, and build a launchpad to propel their Creature technologies and artist experience in the future. And I think after the acquisition of Ziva by DNAG, Adonis is kind of safe, so we can still use it and take advantage of this great technology. And as far as Ziva VFX's alternatives go, and while some might argue that we can also use some other solutions to achieve it, the likes of Maya and 3ds Max tools, if you ask me, the only real alternatives at the moment are Houdini, Xmuscle in Blender, and Adonis. At least these are those I'm aware of. However, one could also make a case for Unreal Engine's ML Deformer as a potential option, which is also a machine learning deformer that uses some of the most recent techniques to generate characters with full muscle, flash, and class simulation. So you would say, if it is that great, then how come I'm not a fan of it? Well, the current issue with this one is that it comes with a sample file with a human character inside it. Then you can use the training data and network parameters that are shown inside it to gain a deep understanding of how it was constructed. And then you will apply those insights to your own project. So yeah, it may not be everyone's cup of tea. However, for those with strong patience and interest in the technical side of it, it will be interesting to dig into the details of this powerful engine. And hopefully, if you are successful using it, it will give you amazing results. And there you have it guys. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.